Okay, we have here a Kodak Photolife Lithium Battery Pack. It is the K23L 9 volt lithium battery. This is a, a battery that was developed by Kodak in the 80s. And I guess they thought it was efficient. It is a pretty efficient design because if you look at it, there's almost no way it's going to leak. Um, I don't know what's inside this, but it was inside this camera, which is a Kodak VR35 Metalist. Technically, this is the Kodak VR35 K14. It's a rebranded Chinon 2001, and uh, Kodak bought Chinon for the sole purpose of acquiring their camera manufacturing. So it goes into this. Now this camera will operate without the uh, without this battery. It will operate on a standard you know, nine volt battery, the type used in a loosen this the type used in a battery alarm. Just a regular alkaline battery. But I imagine it's a lot more efficient if it's used with the battery that's designed to fill that space. So, what I plan to do is to dissect this battery, open it up, see what's in it. It says it's a K323, so when I see K323, it makes me think that there are three 123 batteries in there. So, uh, maybe not, I haven't actually measured to see, but I do have a one two three battery here and this is a one two three battery now only way I can figure they could get it in is to literally stack them like that roll them in um, I'll put electrical tape over the ends of the batteries to when I'm storing them so I mean I suppose that would fit in there I don't know what's in here I don't know how hard it is going to be to open this thing up but I guess now is the time to try it. I mean, this thing's pretty old. You'd think it would give up the ghost pretty easy. But apparently it's not, not going to be the case. Let's try this. It's always fun to... mm. Okay. Good job. Put some pressure on here. I mean, it's glued closed uh, at the top. I hope this thing's running. I hope it doesn't blow up. <clears throat> I looked all over for something on the internet where to tell me what was in this thing. Because I'm figuring... I hope I didn't break anything too permanently. Look at this. Do you see this? That is a one, two, three battery in there sideways. Um, don't have any. Probably ought to have gloves on for this bit. But shoot, this is exactly as I expected. Now they're probably soldered together. I gotta take these out. Well, somewhat, not recklessly. But again. The bottle opener is the answer. Let's see if I can pull out of here. I have no doubt that these are probably soldered together. This contact is definitely soldered on this one here. So maybe I'll just try and take this all out as one unit. Maybe, yeah, that's the way to do it. So now we see what it is. This is a plastic shell. Uh, it's got a plastic tab on this side to, if you can see the light, to mate in with that, and it simply closes on. This uh, metal piece tab goes in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to carefully carefully remove these batteries I'm gonna to have to break the solder here so I'm probably gonna to have to heat it up without melting the plastic and I'm going to use the same arrangement that it has now with uh, these batteries I think I can rig this up um, it's very important that when you do this that you have to use <clears throat> batteries of the exact same composition 
So whatever composition these are, you can't have one that's uh, nickel hydri hydride, nickel metal hydride, and then one that's lithium ion. Kaboom. Uh, you need to use exactly the same batteries of exactly the same strength uh, to avoid explosions and injuries and fires lithium ion. I don't think it matters so much to the camera um, what the composition is. So this is a ultra lithium. If I were going to put this in there, I would require three more of these. But this one's already been used. I want three of them. Same package probably, or you know, same expiration, same brand, same composition. That avoids injuries. So I'm going to rig this up and pause this here.